Here guys, so tonight we are going to image the Elephant Trunk Nebula. Okay, so we are just a few days past full moon. That's why I'm starting uh, today's project uh, with the H alpha filter. Now, uh, some of you may know that I got a few uh, color images. Uh, from the last video when uh, I was at uh, Vulca Planina, but those few sample images are far from enough uh, of the color data So I'll need to get uh, plenty more in a few days when the moon shines uh, a bit less And as you know the nights are still uh, quite short So it's uh, very hard to get uh, a decent image in only one night Except if you are living under less uh, light polluted skies but uh, I'm taking uh, multiple nights to get a half decent image. Plus getting some good uh, color data on the Elephant Truck Nebula has been uh, quite difficult for me and uh, I'm not really sure why. So maybe if you already shot it, uh, I would love to hear uh, what you have to say. I'm actually quite surprised how bad my color data is on uh, the test image I took from my backyard. So I think that those few color images uh, I took in uh, Vilka Planina will come in uh, quite handy uh, later when I stacked and uh, processed the image because the difference is quite noticeable. So yeah, I would uh, love to have uh, skies like this in my backyard. So I think we will go on a trip again uh, very shortly, uh, hopefully in the next video. But as I mentioned, tonight I'm imaging from uh, the comfort of my backyard and I'm actually going for 20 minute subs and the nights are not uh, that warm. So my Canon 600D uh, or the T3i uh, seems to handle it uh, quite well. And I'm seriously thinking about uh, a cult camera in the very near future. But yeah, that's a whole different topic. now and I think I have enough of the H alpha data so now it's time to focus on uh, getting some color and I already imaged uh, yesterday and of course uh, I pointed uh, the telescope uh, to the Neowise uh, comet and to be honest I didn't put uh, much effort into it I think it was the first time that I used uh, the mount in uh, Altes mode all I made uh, was a one star alignment and then uh, just took a simple uh, 30 second exposure. I didn't spend too much time on processing it. And I'll pull it up for you guys on the screen. I'm sure that uh, most of you also imaged it. So I'd love to see your uh, photos and uh, you can tag me on uh, Instagram if you like. I think we need uh, more things like this comet to happen because I see that uh, suddenly a lot of people are interested in uh, different things in astronomy, which is a great thing in my opinion. But yeah, I think you probably noticed that I'm not in my backyard tonight. And I came to this spot, which is uh, not far away from my house, uh, just a few short uh, minutes drive. here is because there's a street light uh, which shines directly in my telescope which causes some uh, weird uh, vignetting in my images and it's uh, very hard to fix I got no lights shining here the skies are not darker but uh, a few minutes drive can make uh, quite a change and it's much more peaceful here except for some weird uh, animal sounds so yeah I really like to come here except uh, that it's uh, boring most of the time okay so don't forget to tag me in your Instagram posts I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care guys. Bye.